Junichi Tazawa was a big part of the 2013 Boston Red Sox World Series championship team. In the postseason that year, he surrendered just one run in 13 appearances. But before Tazawa made his way over to Major League Baseball, he left a lasting impact on Nippon Professional Baseball without even stepping on an MPB field. After graduating from Yokohama Shodai High School, Tazawa declared for the 2007 MPB draft, but went undrafted. At this point, if Tazawa wanted to continue his career in baseball, he could play college ball or independent ball. He chose the latter. As a result, he joined Enios, a corporate independent league team, and posted a 10-1 record with a 1.02 ERA and 95 strikeouts in 88 and a third innings. He also won the MVP award of the National Corporate League Championships after going 4-0 with 36 strikeouts. After the 2008 season, Tazawa was eligible to declare for the MPB draft again. It's not uncommon for undrafted players out of high school or part-time players to retry their luck in the draft after a couple of indie ball seasons. But this time, it was Tazawa who declined a chance in Nippon Professional Baseball, as his manager, Hideaki Okubo, encouraged him to go straight to Major League Baseball and skip the MPB draft entirely. So Tazawa requested to go undrafted, and teams obliged. But the league made sure something like this could be prevented going forward, as they implemented a rule that would require any Japanese amateur who signs overseas to sit out two to three years before returning to play in Nippon Professional Baseball. Players out of high school would be restricted for two years, while college and corporate players like Tazawa would be restricted for three years. Obviously, from the league's perspective, this makes sense. They want their youngest and brightest players to shine in Japan, at least to start their careers. They can't afford to have all their best amateurs leave for Major League Baseball. But from a player's perspective, this rule is obviously incredibly limiting. An amateur player should have the ability to pursue any career they choose. Now, to be fair, they still can, but this rule effectively means that failure equals career suicide. If an amateur player in Japan were to jump straight into an MLB organization and not perform, they wouldn't really be able to fall back on a career in MPB. They can still return eventually, but sitting out two or three prime years would be devastating. Luckily for Tazawa though, he succeeded. From 2012 to 2014, Tazawa posted his best years with a 2.62 ERA in 175 innings of work with 181 strikeouts out of the Boston pen. He departed the Red Sox after 2016 and joined the Marlins, Angels, Cubs, and Reds organizations, but didn't find much success and was out of a major league job by 2020. Tazawa left MLB with a career 4.12 ERA and 3.74 FIP with 91 holds and 4 saves in 388 appearances. And he eventually signed with the Saitama Musashi Heat Bears, an independent league team in Japan, for the 2020 season. If it weren't for the rule, he may have been able to find a job in MPB. However, just months later, the Fair Trade Commission of Japan ruled that, quote, Nippon Professional Baseball likely violated the anti-monopoly law by using an unwritten rule designed to prevent young ball players from pursuing careers in the major leagues because the FTC viewed the 12 MPB teams as corporate entities in its investigation under the anti-monopoly law, which prohibits a joint refusal to engage in a business transaction with another party." End quote. As a result, Tazawa was able to declare for the 2020 MPB draft. Of course, while the vast majority of draftees are amateurs, the draft is technically for any first-year player. But no franchise was looking to waste a pick on a 35-year-old aging reliever instead of building for the future, so Tazawa went undrafted, and he eventually signed with the Weichuan Dragons of the CPBL for the 2021 season. Now, despite going undrafted, Tazawa stated that, quote, the rule prevented others who wanted to try for a chance at the majors from going. I want to express my gratitude to everyone because I think it was very good that the rule was rescinded. And this is really true, and there is perhaps no better example than Shohei Otani. In 2012, Shohei Otani declared that he intended to skip the MPB draft and go straight to Major League Baseball. As a result, only one team, the Nippon Ham Fighters, selected him, despite everyone knowing that he was a generational talent that wanted to go to Major League Baseball. Well, after a month of negotiations, 
in which the fighter's management gave Otani a 30-page booklet explaining all the risks of going to Major League Baseball, Otani decided to sign with the fighters after all. Now, in hindsight, it really was a good thing for Otani to get MPB experience and to really prove that a two-way player at the professional level can exist in the 21st century. But you have to wonder, if this rule wasn't in place, would we have been able to see in Shohei Otani in a Major League uniform way before 2018? So again, finding a balance between keeping amateur stars in Japan and allowing them the freedom to pursue overseas opportunities is tough. But even without this restricting Tozawa rule, not every young stud in Japan is going to even want to go to MLB. While many amateurs in Japan do dream of a career in Major League Baseball, the vast majority of them grow up wanting to play for their childhood MPB team. So in my opinion, it's good to see the Tozawa rule get scrapped. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more MPB content in English.